Hey y'all, how's it going? I am your girl, Hot Girl Telche, and thank you all for being here and joining me. Please keep in mind that these are general messages, all right? So it may or may not resonate with you. So subscribers, I know I haven't posted for y'all in a while, um, but this month is going to be more dedicated to y'all and more videos, so please comment down below and let me know what y'all want to hear personally. I will have my wish list for anybody that wants to purchase me anything off of Amazon, off my wish list. Remember, you do get two free readings once I do receive um, the items that you do purchase. Okay? So, yeah. All right? So, here we go, you guys. So, we're going to do December 4th through December 5th for your forecast, okay? Like I said, keep what resonates or take what resonates and then leave the rest, okay? Also, come back and update me if any of these things happen to you so that I know... So that I know, okay? I will. I, I like to hear your experiences, okay? So Spirit, Angels, Ancestors, Holy Bond, please protect me as I get these messages out for the collective's highest good. December 4th through December 7th, please allow me to choose the message that they need to hear at this time that is most accurate and more valid for their situation, what they need to know and or be aware of at this time. Thank you, Spirit. Amen. 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 So December 4th on a Wednesday for the collective. December 5th on a Thursday for the collective, December 6th on a Friday, and December 7th on a Saturday. All right? So we're going to go ahead and get started. Thank y'all so much for subscribing and holding it down. I greatly do appreciate each and every one of y'all, okay? So December 4th on a Wednesday, the karmic is paying top dollar for spell work. Oh, this karmic is not letting up, is it? Mm-mm-mm. So let's see. December 4th on a Wednesday. Spirit, help me clarify these messages for the collective's highest good. All right. What is this about? December 4th on a Wednesday. The karmic is paying top money for spell work. For, I don't know why I'm pit hearing this, but for some of you collective, there is a karmic who feels like your person is stuck on you or reaching out to you or maybe doing things behind their back. But they, this karmic got it out bad. So it's kind of like, well, let me see what I can do so he can call my phone or she can call my phone. It's like this karmic wants to be relevant and maybe a person's not allowing them. Yeah, they feel this karmic feel like shit because things are not going their way. Yeah, your person could be moving on, letting go and really trying to leave this situation alone because they fed up. This karmic show their true colors. OK, and some of you, this your person's realized as time progressed that you're still on their mind. OK. December 4th on a Wednesday, karmic is paying top dollar for spell work. December 4th on a Wednesday, the karmic is paying top dollar for spell work. Yeah, because that's too busy watching you. They they assuming everything you post or what you post, they, they keep close tabs on you and your person. They may even be trying to get your person bound up, locked up. Yeah, police station. They could be doing some weird ass shit. But for some of you, if the, I feel like for some of you, they're going to end up finding themselves in jail. You know, trying to put go against you or your person's will, put spell from you, but they can end up finding themselves in bad, bad fucked up situations themselves. What's December 4th on the ways that karmic is paying top dollar for spell work? What is this about? So they could be, they could be using a secret account to book readings with somebody. Yeah, because your person is ghost to them or not talking to them. They feel like maybe for some of you, they, they purposely did something to your person. So it's like, and they didn't get the reaction that they thought they were going to get out of your person. So it's like, oh, well, I need to pay for it. Come back spell or love me spell or be with me spell. Some type of shit that they feel like they done looked up. But it's all because your person is detaching themselves from them. They don't, they're not fucking with them no more. They feel like they're losing your person. Yeah. They're not getting the, the attention that they thought they were going to get out of your person. Like your person could be standing on business, trying to move on. If they do give them attention, it's hot and cold. It's on and off. It's not It's not there. So they try to create these accounts and do whatever they got to do to keep up tabs with you because they're not getting attention. Yeah, somebody here working overtime to pay for a top dollar on some type of spell work. Yep, because they want your person to love them. Yeah, because they're too busy fighting and arguing. But it, I feel like it ain't going to work. It ain't going to work. December 4th on a Wednesday. The conk is paying top dollar for spell work. Because they want to be picked. they want. It's like, pick me. Could be a Gemini. Yeah. They thought they're going to get a real love connection out of your person. They thought maybe your person really loved them, was going to be with them. 
but I'm getting this person, your person betrayed the fuck out of them, lying to them, cheating, being strategic. They, they, they know how to trick this person into thinking that they're going to give them a happily ever after. And that's not what's going to happen. They constantly feel, you, they feel your person more disconnected disconnect, from them than anything. Mm-hmm. The karmic is paying top dollar for spell work, December 4th on a Wednesday. Yeah. But see, I told y'all, it's going to all come crashing down. It's going to come crashing down. They want your person's love so bad, it ain't going to work. 616, look up that angel number. Because your person's going to stay single. And their person's going to forever keep trying to come back to you. Build this house with you or build a home with you. Why isn't this spell work going to work for this karmic with the tower? Why won't it work, spirit? Because regardless, your person's going to hold back. So they may feel, they may get your person's attention here and there, but it's not due to, it's not due to the fact that they pay for the spell work. They don't pay all this money for spell work and it's not going to work. They're not going to get this love connection that they think. They may think for a minute, but your person will constantly hold back. Yep. And it's going to keep them in a place of feeling sad, anxiety, and going to be able to sleep. Why is the collective person holding back from this karmic with the strength card? Why are they holding back from this karmic spirit? For, so some of you that could be avoiding this third party could be a Libra, Gemini, Leo, Capricorn. They may be attracted to this person. person may look good, but they're never making a solid decision. Why can't they make? Why can't the collective Zex make a solid decision on this karmic with the two of swords? Some of you because it's a dark energy around this karmic, or this karmic it could be a very dark person. Some of you, this karmic fell in love with your person really, really quickly than your person anticipated. I feel like your person's just not sure about this third party. Yeah, they just feel like it's better just to walk away. Some of you could be a Georgia peach. We got lotto plans. So some of you, you could be from Georgia or your person is from Georgia. But in this song, she's saying, ain't nothing like a Georgia girl. Ain't nothing like a Georgia girl. Ain't nothing like... Okay, so something... If you're a Georgia girl or a Georgia boy, it's nothing like you. Now, this person they're dealing with, they might not even be a Georgia girl or a Georgia boy. This, this is very specific for somebody. Okay? Ain't nothing like you. Ain't nothing like you. Period. They don't, Yeah, so they don't try to go and build and go work on other things, other people, but they end up regretting it. It ends up being a burden because ain't nothing like you. Okay? Ain't nothing like you. They, they want to apologize for even trying to make somebody feel special. For making them feel like they were going to go off and go have this or that. Yeah. And some of you, this karma is starting to sink in. Let, let me ask. Spirit, can I ask you this, please? Why? What's the purpose of this karmic paying for this spell work? December 4th on a Wednesday. What is this karmic's purpose on paying for this spell work? Because they want, they want a second chance. Maybe they thought they messed up something with your person. So it's like they want your person's forgiveness. They thought they want to start all over. They want mercy. Yeah. They feel like, like they, they want their wishes fulfilled with your person. But it's going to be a challenge. It'll be successful for a moment or for a minute. But they're not going to keep it your person, keep it, be able to keep your person's attention. Let me ask that. Spirit, why can't this karmic keep the collector's ex's attention? Why can't they keep their attention? Why can't this karma keep the collector's ex's attention? Why can't this karma keep their keep the collector's ex's attention? Because I feel like this person already know their purpose. They already know where they want to be. Maybe for some of you, you just not going for it. it. Could be a Sagittarius. They may have already told this person what it is, but this karma feel like, well, I can change them or I can do this or I can do that. Yeah, see, ain't nothing like you. <laughs> ain't nothing like the Georgia girl. Okay, ain't nothing like you. And they're going to forever feel left out in the cold. Forever feel that way. Because it's nothing like you. All right, let's move on to December 5th on a Thursday. Upset because you're ignoring their texts and calls. So that's what I'm saying. Like, this person is going to be paying top dollar because they already know your person could be trying to reach out to you or be with you or spend time with you or spend money on you. So it's kind of like this third party karmic energy could be trying to stop something. But your person, December 5th on a Thursday... Is upset because you're not talking to them, you know. Some of you didn't change your number. They can't get a hold of you. They could be having others reaching out to you. So let's see about this. December 5th on a Thursday. Upset. I'm going to have to speed it up a little bit because my storage is starting to run out. 
But they're upset because you're ignoring their calls and texts. And as soon as I started to get into December 5th on a Thursday, some of you, your person could be locked up. So you're like, oh, I'm not even trying to hear that Joe talk. I've been picking that up for y'all a lot. Somebody is locked up or they're about to get ready to get locked up. And they're going to be expecting for you to talk to them. And when they do get jammed up, they're not wanting that to talk to that karmic. They're going to be wanting to talk to you. And this, for some of you, this karmic, then, then try to do things, get your person's attention, posting this, posting that. Think your person's going to hit them up, but your person's still not fucking with them. So, like, damn, if he's in jail, if she's in jail, if whatever, they still not fucking with me. So, some of you, this person, like, as soon as I play the song, T. Grizzly, Chris Brown, and Mariah, the song, just, it says, he says, is you up right now because I'm drunk right now? But she's like, but you know, I got a man. And then her part just came on and said, got a girl at home, what you calling me? So some of you, that's why y'all not talking to them because you're like, I know you still fucking with that karmic. I know you still got a situation going on. Why are you calling me for it? She keeps saying, but you know, I got a man. He, she's like, but I don't give a fuck. So some of you, that could either be you telling your person I got a man or this could be you letting them not. Don't you got a girl? Don't you got a woman? Don't you got a, home, a, a boyfriend? Like, why you call me? He, he's like, I don't give a fuck. Like, this person just does not give a fuck about this comic. Like, period, point blank. If you, I'm hearing for some of you, if you only knew. Upset because the collective is ignoring their texts and calls December 5th on a Thursday. Somebody don't want me to get this message out, collective. I'm telling you, this video keeps stopping. And I know I got storage. They feel like you are you are in the most confident, most play, most valuable place in your life right now. Look, I love her by Gloria. Like, yeah, you ain't got to say too much mm -mm -mm, what I'm looking for. I just got to tell everybody. I don't want to keep it on the low. Goddamn, I love. Okay, somebody loves you, Collective, for real, for real. They love you. And I feel like you are such a secure woman or a secure man. You get off that boss, boss B energy. Okay, like like they want to take so much action towards you. So right now, they're very upset because they feel like you're just moving on without them. Like you don't even care about them no more. <laughs> okay, let's get more into it. December 5th on a Thursday. It says, the collective's ex is, is upset because the collective is ignoring their calls and texts. Yep, the nine of pentacles in reverse. This person don't want you to be single. They don't. They're obsessed with you. They want to heal this connection. Why is the collective's ex so upset that the collective is ignoring their texts and calls, spirit? Upset because they're ignoring their texts and calls. Yeah, because I feel like it's, make, it's reminding them that they're, they don't miss an opportunity here with you. That you're really disconnected from them. They 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 don't want you to be single. They don't want you to be available. Yep, they want you to a cups. Yep, and that's why they keep trying to rush in towards you because they're going through some transformation, and this transformation is making them realize I want what I want, and I want the collective. Mm hmm. Upset because the collective is ignoring their texts and calls. So it feels like this person could be in their head too. Yeah, they want to be with you. They don't want you to be single. Nine of Pentacles Universe with the hair fin upright could be a Taurus, Cancer. Virgo, they don't want you to be a, be single. Mm -mm. So they can also make plans to come towards you. They may want to earn your trust somehow, some way. Some of you, they may be upset because when I told you I got that song uh, that was playing by Mariah the Scientist, I don't, they may feel like you got somebody, okay? So they could be trying to shut that down. Upset because the collective is ignoring their texts and calls December 5th on a Thursday. Mm -hmm. They want a new beginning here with you. They want to start all over. They're looking at all type of possibilities on how to win you back. They may even be having somebody close to them to, to try to help them figure things out with you and balance things out to have this reconciliation with you, okay? So they may have people working with them to try to win you back, what to say, what to do, to get in contact with you somehow, some way. All right, let's move on to December 6th on a Friday. Ready to love you out loud. Yeah, so this person want to... He said, I just got to tell everybody, I don't want to keep it on the low. God damn, I love it. So somebody here going to probably allow somebody to get some type of gain, like a family or friends, somebody that close gain access to their social media and, or they're going to get on social media and, and love you out loud like you want. Post a picture about you, say something sweet about you. Like they're going to, they're going to let it be known. They don't even care. He said, I don't even, I don't even want to keep it on the low. God damn, I love it. Love them. Three, three, three. They're going to let it be known. December 6th on a Friday, ready to love the collective out loud. Yep, because you're their twin flame. You are their twin flame. Yep. And I feel like they that feel for, for them to express how they feel about you, whether it's through social media, a friend, 
writing you a message, whatever the case may be, it's because you got them blocked and you're not talking to them. So they got to come up with another way to get in contact with you. Yeah, because you're running from this person. Some of you, you running. And you don't plan on looking back anytime soon. December 6th on a Friday. Ready to love the collective out loud. Mm -hmm. So this has been like a love-hate relationship. Although y'all are twin flames, y'all could be mirroring one another. Yeah, it's like you love this, your divine masculine, but you also know this person got a lot of shit to grow up. They got a lot of growing up to do. Right now, your person could be working on their faith, okay? Getting into their religion, listening to the word more. Maybe that's what you're trying to do or help this person out this whole time. But they could be stuck in their ways. Yeah, constant bullshit by Summer Walker. So, yeah, that's what it was. It was constant bullshit with this person. Okay, yeah, now they're sitting somewhere under a lot of pressure. Feel like time is running out with you. Could be going through some type of financial burdens right now. Yeah, they could be struggling. Ten of Swords. December 6th on a Friday. Ready to love. Why is this person ready to love the collective out loud? Ready to love the collective out loud, Spirit. Why? They want to show you that that of uh, how they feel about you. Somebody who really wants to express to you how they really feel about you. It could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. They're starting to see the bigger picture. They want to overcome this challenge. This may be a big challenge, not having you in their life anymore. This could be something they're trying to overcome. Some of you, they, they want to be mature about the situation. Okay? Yeah. Ever since you walked away, they, they're, they're looking at the bigger picture of everything. Ready to love the collective out loud. December 6th on a Friday. Yeah. Somebody here could be preparing and trying to come close to you. Reach out to you, talk to you. They want to move forward. Yeah, so y'all will be hearing from this person, possibly some of you this week by the weekend. Ready to love the collective out loud. Why? Yeah, this is my here. They're going to do it in a sneaky way, 555. Five, five. Like, you're not going to see it coming. Could be an Aquarius. Talking about the Seven of Swords. They're going to be very strategic. Very, very strategic. Yeah, see, so they don't want to be toxic anymore. They want to get their shit together. See, they want to have some type of control. They, they want to, maybe in the past, they didn't have really much control. They're out here just doing whatever. But I feel like now they're ready to show up for you and do what they need to do. Mm -hmm. They could be detaching themselves from things that are not good for them to make their way to you so that you'll believe them. Because you're not going to believe them if you know they're still connected with somebody else. You're like, I'm not going to believe you. You got to show me that you're really ready to change the best apology is changed behavior. And that's, I feel like the only way some of you will make it work is if they change, actually change. But some of you are like, oh, that's far-fetched, bro. That's far-fetched. Because yeah, it's always constant bullshit. Summer Walker. December 7th on a Saturday. Feeling you leaving them behind. So this person, I feel like they, they, they may have waited too late. This person may have waited a little bit too late to, to convince you. Okay, yeah, this divine masculine. They praying, Lord, they praying. <laughs> December 7th on a Saturday, feeling the collective, leaving them behind. Mm -hmm. So this person could be doing some meditating, could be praying, could be trying to get closer to God, trying to do things to really get themselves together. Because I'm saying, I'm, I still feel like, like this person may feel like, God, if I get closer to you or do what I'm supposed to do, maybe she'll unblock me. Maybe he'll unblock me. Maybe they'll have a change of heart. Yeah, because they're heartbroken. They're heartbroken. Maybe the only person they can't call on is God. Yeah, I told y'all because they feel like things are too late. This separation, they're reflecting a lot on this separation. Feeling the collective is leaving them behind. December 7th on a Saturday. Yep, they're not happy about it. This person is not happy to know that you are moving on with your life. They don't like it. Not one single bit. That's why they were so ready to take some type of action towards you. Feeling like the collective is leaving them behind. December 7th on a Saturday. Yep. So they're doing a lot of reflecting. Doing a lot of trying to get their mind together. Feeling like the collective is leaving them behind. December 7th on a Saturday. Yep. They're heartbroken by it because they really do see it's somebody that fulfilled their wishes. Could be a Libra Pisces energy. You really fulfill this person's wishes and now they don't have anybody to call on. Or then now that they just in the such fucked up situations, or now they're saying they don't really want this other situation anymore, they're like, damn, I'm not now I don't have the collective to go back to. Clarify the spirit of swords that could be heartbroken, feel like they're suffering. They don't like this at all. Feel like the collective is leaving them behind December 7th. 
Yep. They're, they're trying to rush in here towards you, though, because they feel left out in the cold. But I feel like somebody is trying to make some plans to come towards you or get a message to you. What is this three? What is this two of wands? What is this person planning when it comes to the collective? Page of Pentacles in reverse. This person is manifesting to come in here with some type of skill to do it different. Some type of offer. But I feel like it may not work because in the past this person was just so lazy and procrastinated. But... And they didn't commit. So now you're like, uh, that, that could be a risk for you. What is this person planning to do to come towards the collective? 